Hello everyone. Um, this video, I'm just going to show you how I use code interpreter in a very silly way. Just one question and drop the file and see what happened. So I want to take a different approach from, you know, a lot of video that I already talked about this technology. This is part of the ChatGPT Plus subscription. And I dropped this one file called iscd.csv. What is this file about? I'm just going to show you real quick here. This is a data set that shows the year in Buddhist year, okay, which is like ahead of the Gregorian calendar, like about 500 years or so. And this is a field study based on UNESCO. It's called ISCED. There are 10 field of studies. All right. This says admin and then engineer, manufacturing and construction down to services, natural science, medicine steps, and you know, we have like agriculture here. Okay, so this is the field study. And then we have male and female. Now, it doesn't really know what this data is about, but actually it's the graduate production of all the higher education institution in Thailand, right? I'm not gonna tell it about that. So I dropped the files and then it just asked one single question. Any insight? It just start from the basic for me, which is a very good way of doing data analysis, right? Try to understand the data set first. By the way, you really have to understand your data set before you try this because you cannot really trust ChatGPT like with everything. I, I hope that is clear. Um, so it's kind of give me everything that I, that I told you just now, including this. This is a really nice touch. Okay, it say that this is Buddhist calendar currently um, 2564, which is 543 years ahead of the international calendar. So that, that's the first part, right? It kind of understand all the columns. Down here, it just walked me through the very steps of data analysis. Right? Check unique field, summarize data, check the missing value, and convert the year and check the number of year included in the data set it does all that so it gives the detail 10 unique field of study data set from five unique year okay from after conversion 2017 to 2021 and then just give me more information about male and female uh, so this is male alone uh, particular year, right? And with every edge of this many. And the female, so no missing value of course because I cleaned it up real nice. Okay, the next thing is say gonna plot the number. So it kind of run through this like Python. Um, you can copy the code and throw it into your Python uh, IDE or you can use like Jupyter Notebook to run this. Okay, but if you don't want to know what this is, that's fine too. So next thing it does is kind of give me the split between male and female and show different fields of study and show the drop or show the change in terms of the uh, number of something. So it doesn't really pick up whether it is about enrollment or uh, graduation, but it doesn't really matter. You know your data. Right? And you didn't say it explicitly to ChatGPT, so there's no way that it's going to know. But it, it actually thought that is the enrollment. So if you look at the, the auto-generated title of this chat, it says student enrollment trend, which is incorrect. But it, you know, to be fair, it, it, it probably doesn't know and it didn't say anything. So it, it's a good guess. All right. So uh, a few things that I already figured out from this data set, but I want to know whether ChatGPT can pick it up is like this. Both male and female, um, the field business, which is the top one. That's why I ranked it the first on this data set. So I'm just going to show you this one time. I rank this data set by the number of graduates. So this business and admin, this is the top. Right? So it just say that consistently has the highest enrollment, but it declined sharply, noticeable 
for female students. So this is what we see here, right here, this line. Right. Um, another thing that is clear, because of course I look up the data, uh, engineering, manufacturing, and construction has the second highest enrollment for male students. Okay, female is in the field of health and and welfare. All right. Um, this the third insight that it found is that uh, information, communication, technology, and agriculture seem to have the lowest enrollment and remain stable over the years. All right. Most few there are more female than male except engineering so this is something that i found okay so it didn't really miss anything this data set is clean and simple so it kind of pick up all the information okay that that's important it's worth noting uh, the last one here it's worth noting that art and humanity feel number of female students significantly exceed the number of male all right so you, you don't really see that much in here because these are I would say it's spikely line graph because it's very messy and difficult to understand. So this is first attempt. I'm just going to show you one more attempt. Okay, real quick, I'm going to start over again. So give me one second here. All right, I start a new chat and chat GPT4 and I check code interpreter again. So I'm going to start over again and do exactly the same thing and see what happens. So this is this files, ISED drop it and I would say just only one word see what happened so it start running the code okay if you just do the grading as usual it's big and nice manner and then it start running the code of course this is in Python okay it finished and then it start um, I think it start looking up at the basics. Same thing, right? Year, few, male. See, this time it doesn't pick up the Buddhist year. Huh, too bad, huh? So it's analyze distribution. Now, this time though, I'm not really pleased because I want to find, I want the AI to find inside for me. I don't want it to ask me anything. Just, just give me what you got. Okay. So if we don't know anything about this, we can just like um, ask what we can do about this data. And of course, this is very similar to running a pivot table in Excel examples or you can plot the graph to see what happened right now it's say that it's going to do three things for me distribution of male and female all right and then trend analysis few with the highest and lowest gender disparity all right so this is the first one distribution of male and female across different few all right and then the second thing is so it kind of say that of course Business admin has the highest number. Now let's look at the uh, trend over year. Okay, so this is like comparing numbers, and then it's gonna show me like the time series. Hmm, it's similar to the previous one that I show you, but this time it's kind of like mix everything in one graph which is even harder to understand right but it kind of gives similar insight and then the last thing it's going to do for me is going to see the gender disparity and this one um, let's see what happened okay finish so the ratio okay highest disparity is engineering all right so just keep going on and on and on about this like the lowest disparity is health and wellness so and then just do the closing remark as it does now let me show you a little more things here i did tell you that i know this data very well i clean it and i analyze it so this is what i have 
right? Right here is what I have. 10 few, right? This is the overall data set that I, that I analyzed. This is like both male and female together here. It dropped like this. Female drop shape is very similar to the overall graduate. Um, the male is a little less, okay, comparing to uh, the female. So the female got hit the harder because we have more female students and graduates over time and it, 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 it becomes less and less over the year. Now, when it comes to the, um, the comparing across different fields over time, I decided to use this graph instead. I use what is called small multiple, which means you like repeating the graph several times for different fields. All right, so in, in this case, you can see that the drop between male and female is the, uh, the drop between for female is really, really sharp in business and admin here. Okay, it dropped from this many to only this. Okay, the, the drop is the sharpest comparing to other few. And it say, if you remember, it say like ICT and agriculture are the one that, uh, are the, the ones that stay relatively stable over time this is the shape of the data all right so i actually want the chat gpt to give me something like this because this is sort of like you you mix the time series and and the comparison together in in one big visual okay but it didn't really do that for me all right so i think you can kind of see that um, even though it give us a lot right but without understanding the data set you might miss something in the process and in this case it doesn't even pick up the year it doesn't pick up the year that is not in the right format right it just say this is a year i don't know and um but all in all it kind of give us an overview of the data and the insight and it give us the a recommendation of how we can do this analysis all right it can give us that okay um, but another thing that you might already notice is every time that you run the code it just gives slightly different answer so if i if i rerun this one more time okay basically you click on this edit and then you click save and submit it probably going to do something else something similar but um, not exactly the same Right, but that's the whole idea of this. You have to keep experimenting. It's kind of similar. All right. That's all. Okay, for this. Um, just keep in mind that you got to know your data and you just have to keep rerunning this multiple times so that you see which one is the, is the most uh, accurate or is, is like giving you the most insights that you can find. All right. Thank you for watching.